Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Impact Post Show. We are on the heels of one of the greatest matchups I've gotten to witness in my time here in Impact, perhaps one of the greatest Impact matches in the history of our tenure on Access TV. Hell, maybe in the whole 21-year history no of the company. No kidding. Frankie Kazarian and Eddie Edwards absolutely went to war. And considering everything that went into this rivalry, it was needed. We are really going to sift through everything that happened in the two out of three falls killer impact match a little bit later on here on the Impact Post Show. I want to begin as our evening really got underway with the Impact World Tag Team Championships on the line. Sammy Callahan and Rich Swan got a tag team title shot against the reigning champions, the Rascals. This was a very hard fought match. I know you weren't thrilled necessarily with the fact that the Rascals had to defend the championships yeah. in the first place. Yeah, I mean, look, we're literally weeks away from a big, huge tag team title defense that is going to be against ABC at Bound for Glory, and now Santino Morella just making them, oh yeah, you got to defend them again. These guys got to prepare. They got to go to saunas. They got to get stretched out. They got to see chiropractors, stuff like that. You know what I mean? They're champions, Tommy. You don't know what that's like. I it's don't. a lot of prep. <laughs> Listen, right. uh, first of all, it was a spectacular right. match for the tag team titles. Oh, and by the way, once again, the Rascals cheated, so there was that. But now it's been made official. The ABC right. will be challenging the Rascals for the Impact World Tag Team titles at Bound for Glory one week from Saturday live in Chicago. This is a long time coming. Twice the Rascals screwed the ABC at Slammiversary in their contractual rematch shortly thereafter. And then also the Rascals, we know, paid off the good hands to screw the ABC again this past August in the tag team title tournament. Oh, look, yes, there's been a lot of back and forth between these teams. There's been some, some bad action actors on both sides, if you will. You know, that that old adage. And uh, it's going to be good to finally see it settled. Finally, mano e mano, team versus team at Bound for Glory, the biggest stage of it all, which is what the Rascals deserve as tag team champions. So I'm just glad they're finally getting the spotlight they deserve. Here's my question to you, all, all bias aside. The Rascals and the ABC, arguably the two best tag teams that Impact Wrestling has to well, offer Well, today. really quick. There's no arguing that the Rascals are because they have tag team gold. But yes, ABC is very, very good too. Still, modern day, two of the best tag teams, not just in Impact, Absolutely. but perhaps on the planet, for the brightest young athletes and yes. stars in all of professional wrestling. I expect fireworks at Bound for Glory. What do you think? Fireworks times a million. Yeah, absolutely. These guys are not only going out championships online. It's our biggest stage of the year, Bound for Glory. Also, it's in Chicago. Chicago shows up and shows out. They know yes. they're going to have to do a lot to impress Chicago. That's right. Ross knows. Everybody <laughs> here, it's a huge opportunity. They know this is their chance to shine. They're going to bust out everything. Yes, and Dr. Ross is going to take care of everybody along the way. Thank you, Ross. So we cannot <laughs> wait to get to Chicago, your hometown. All about for Glory will be live on pay-per-view, Fight TV, YouTube, and DAZN internationally on Saturday, October 21st. When we come back here on the Impact Post Show, we're going to touch on everything that played out tonight in regard to the Call Your Shot gauntlet match that goes down at Bound for Glory, as well as our incredible main event. A former champion whose reign was the longest in Impact Wrestling history. I'm taking back that Impact World Championship. The walking weapon, Josh Alexander. He is the current Impact Wrestling World Champion. There's nobody that's a bigger fan of Alex Shelley than me. Alex Shelley. A bigger fan of mine or a bigger mark for me? Impact Wrestling presents Bound for Glory. Live from Chicago, Saturday, October 21st. Tickets are on sale now. Tonight here in Memphis, Tennessee, we saw a five-way matchup that had plenty of implications regarding the Call Your Shot gauntlet match that happens at Bound for Glory one week from Saturday live in Chicago. The winner of the match would be given the number 20 spot in the Call Your Shot gauntlet, the coveted last spot. You really want that position. You don't have to deal with the rest of the field. The loser, the person pinned or submitted, would be in the number one spot. It looked like in the conclusion of this matchup that Jake something was rolling towards the victory, rolling towards the number 20 spot, when someone appeared that if I had to put money on it, I never would have made this bet nope. in a million years. Nope. Oleg Prudius, formerly known as Vladimir Kozlov to professional wrestling fans, emerged here in the impact zone in Graceland Live and blew up that match. I mean, showed up. He's looking like a bad, bad man, like out of nowhere. Like you said, never would have bet on this. Starts dropping people left and right. We have no idea at first why he's here. 
He's hitting Champagne Singh. He's hitting Eric Young. He's hopping up on the apron going face to face with Jake something. But it became all real clear real quick when he headbutted Jake something right into Dirty Dango getting the win and then stood arm in arm with Alpha Bravo and Dirty Dango. This little ragtag group grows by the minute. I don't, know what, I don't know what to expect next, but what we do know is Dirty Dango has that coveted number 20 spot, and Jake something, he wants to win an opportunity at a title, an impact, he's gonna have to run the entire gauntlet from number one. Jake something will have to go wire to wire, because remember, if you win the Call Your Shot gauntlet, you get an impact title match of your choosing, anytime, anywhere, over the next year. We'll see what happens at Bound for Glory. A lot at play there with a Rudius, Dango, and Bravo. We've got to mm -hmm. keep an eye on that. But we want to talk about our main event. We were discussing it earlier on here on the post show. Sincerely, one of the greatest matchups that I've gotten to see it personally and gotten to call personally, Frankie Kazarian versus Eddie Edwards. This is a very unique match type from the beginning. You've competed in traditional two out of three sure. false matches. This had a twist. What did you think of those rules? I mean, I thought it was very apropos. I mean, it, it's it the tension builds throughout the whole match. You have a standard wrestling match. I think that's how all matches should begin. They should fall under standard wrestling rules. It gives you the kind of the best baseline for who is the better wrestler. In this case, I guess the argument is, by decision, it was Eddie Edwards who was able to, like I thought, hit that knockout shot early. That's what I thought you needed to do to get that pinfall victory. In the submission match, is where things really, the intensity picked up. That's that's this match where we saw Frankie Kazarian get busted yes, open, yes. courtesy of the By chops. chops. That doesn't happen often. No, this, is, this isn't this is an errant chair hitting you in the forehead and cutting a, a, a vein or something like that. No, this is the pure force of the hand on the chest of Frankie Kazarian. It got real nasty there, but Frankie Kazarian managed to lock in that chicken wing at the right time. For Frankie Kazarian, this was about his legacy in professional wrestling, in impact as a whole. It was about beating respect into Eddie Edwards, and he managed to achieve that, and he can finally, hopefully, put this rivalry behind him for good. The question is, what is next for Frankie Kazarian? Because when he was here late in 2022, won the X-Division title at last year's Bound for Glory, selected option C, had a great match for the Impact World Championship against Josh Alexander, and then made his way back to Impact. He has said at times that the Impact World title has been on his mind, but he's always about fighting fights that have been worthwhile. He did that against Eddie Edwards. So my question to all of you watching at home, what is next for Frankie Kazarian, considering we are on the march towards Bound for Glory? Thank you all so much for joining us. He's Raywell, I'm Hannafin. We'll see you next week.